Hi. Can you tell me how old you are? Six. You're six years old? Yes. Okay. Are you going to help me with a few activities and then we're going to paint a pumpkin after? Okay. Okay. Do you know how to do a jumping jack? Yes. Can I see? Ah. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Can you come over here? Oh, how about we stand over this way? Okay. Okay. Go. Can you do them? Like, you want me to show you one first? Nope. Okay. So we're gonna stand together. You got the one. Two. Okay. Good. You can stop. Good job. What? I don't like doing push ups. Well, we're not going to do push ups today. Okay. So, you are going to take this pencil and you're going to draw a line from the path from the car. Take your time and you're going to go to the house and you're going to try and stay inside the lines. First grader can do this. Is that what grade you're in? Yeah. Why are you doing very good? Yeah. Good job. Now you're going to draw a line from this path, from the car to the house. Take your time and try and stay in the lines. Ready, begin. This is much more smaller. job. Okay. Now, okay. now we're going to do this one. So you're going to take your time and you're going to draw a straight line to connect the dots, but you have to keep the pencil on the paper until you connect all the dots. So you're going to start and you're going to go that way, but the pencil can't come off the paper. Oh, got to try and keep it on the paper. You don't pick the pencil up, you gotta just make it one big line around. Okay, good job. Now, the last one. So, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna fold the corner right here. And then you're gonna fold the corner on the papers and you're gonna go from here Gonna first do that corner. You're gonna try and fold it on the line. And then, good. Now try and fold this corner on the paper. And then the last one. And now you're gonna fold it on this line in the middle. Like this? The other way. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Now, we're going to take this one and we're going to start 
on this page. And now, okay, see this line? So you're going to make one like that, and you're going to make yours right here. And then you're going to make one there. Good job. Okay, now you're going to flip the page. And then you're going to make that one there. And you flip the page again. Good job. And then just turn the page again. Do I have to draw the line? Yep, you're going to draw all the lines the way you see it, even the hard ones. You did this at school? At CCD. One more. Good job. Also, that's it. You're done. You did really good. Now, do you want to have a catch with me? We only have to do it a few times. How far back do you want, you want me to stand? Is this good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want M to come help you paint, or do you want to do it by yourself? Uh, you want to do it by yourself. Okay. All right. My sister's going to destroy the whole thing. She would destroy it. There you go. All right. How could you work that? Is it a big pumpkin? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite one? The orange. Is that because it's Halloween? Mm -hmm. 
on your pumpkin. I don't know. I'm just going to see what comes to you. Don't look at me. Go outside. I'm going outside. Don't go there. Oh, I love. Can I do this color? Do you think it's on there? No, I think that one's that one. Uh, okay. We got glitter pens. What do I do first? Paint the whole thing? Well, what do you want to paint on it? I don't know. Do you want to paint a picture? Do you want to make it a face? Mm -hmm. Do you want to make a face? Mm -hmm. I don't need a skin to go through. Mm -hmm. Hard to see on the orange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, there you have it. You just have to put a lot on. Can you see it? What are you going to be for Halloween? Oh, so I think <gasps> it's going to be Anna. Ooh! Is that because she has red hair like, on, uh, like Anna? Mm -hmm. And you have blonde hair like Elsa? Mm -hmm. Is Daddy going to be all off? Yeah. <laughs> Where are Molly going to be? You should make Mommy be Olaf. Ooh, that's kind of cute. Should we tell her later? That's a card with the blue. Can I see if it comes out on here? Mm -hmm. What do you want me to draw? Can I draw a heart? Okay. Oh, these work really good, Mackenzie. Do you want me to take the tops off these ones? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's supposed to be working. Well, you can do like more than one face on him because, like, look at how big it is. So, like, one day you can turn it to the left and it could be a scary face. And then you can turn it to the right and it can I'm be a scary face. I'm keeping it and I'm giving it back to you? No, you get to keep it. I do? Yeah. Ooh, my friends are gonna think I'm gonna pick one pony. Tomorrow I have to be there. Yeah, tomorrow I have to be there early because I have extra help. Really? Mm -hmm. What subject? I don't know, like math. I don't know. Is it reading and math? Yeah. What kind well, of math are you doing? 
actually, I'm not going to do math because on Wednesdays I go to extra homework. Probably I'm going to do next, I'm going to do five. Do five. Hi, Anne. Don't touch, okay? You promise? I can't reach that. Daddy. It's daddy. daddy. No, that's mommy's. Mommy? The cap is stuck. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I got a heart there. <laughs> I know the top is stuck yeah. on the inside of this cap. Here. It's stuck in here. I can't get it out. Why do you want the blue one? Mm -hmm. I'll just put a different cap on it. Here. There you go. Oh, there we go. Got it out. There you go. Now you have all of them. Star. Am I bad at them? You're bad at them? Mm -hmm. No. I think I look pretty. My sister's a brat. What? Ah, she, she, she did this to me. Actually, no, I did that at school. Uh, I don't know if I did. Do you write your name? Do you want to turn it? Or do you have enough room? How do you spell it? M A C K E N G I E. What's your real name? Three. Actually, no. Oh, yeah, Grace. You forgot? That's a big one. That's okay. I don't spell it for you. Don't spell out the U, spell out the A. So just make the top loop over. Do you want me to hold it this way? Mm -hmm. Is that easier? Yeah. Here. That's not very interesting. What's next? <laughs> See. Mm. 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 Mac. Mac. I don't like the silver one. What's your favorite color? Is it pink? Because you're wearing pink. Red. Red. I have a lot of red clothes. Another color? I'm going to go with him. Okay. I'll put them all back here for you. Um, Those are like Christmas colors. Ooh. That doesn't seem like a blue one. No? That's really good. Look, it's so straight and big. What else are you going to put that? Ah! That's funny. Uh -huh. Oops. Are you going to paint or do more glitter? Paint. Paint? Big brush? 
Yeah. Where's that fun brush you found before? That's oh, that one. Or treat. Mm -hmm. What did you say that when you were trick or treating? Mm -hmm. When you were in the doorbell. Do you know what this one says? Spooky. Can I paint them different colors? Paint them whatever colors you want. That actually is really good. Oh, I think she's outside. Hmm? Who's your best friend at school? My friend, Sabrina. Sabrina. Do you know what she's doing for a living? No. Yeah. She's, well, she's in this cook. Oh, you're in different classes? Mm -hmm. Were you in the same class last year? Mm -hmm. We had each other. Mm -hmm. So is that kindergarten? Mm -hmm. And now you're in first grade? Mm -hmm. What are you doing in class? More subtracting. Do you do writing? Mm -hmm. Do you do spelling? Yep. Do you do spelling words this week? Mm -hmm. What do you got? Anything hard? Do you practice with mommy? Um, yep. Can I tell my story real quick? Really? What'd you do? I had a letter. And do you want this brush or a different one? How old am I? Two. Two. So you're a big sister. Does she follow you around? Yeah. What games do you play with her now? Tag. Tag. Is she fast? Mm -hmm. Do you find her or does she find you? Both. We play games. Mm -hmm. Guess I'm going to have to do the arm and the bottom. Which one, the bottom one? Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about that big one. You know what we can try and do? We can like glue these to toothpicks and try and stick them in the pumpkin. We can try and glue them. What about these colors? They're feeling left out. Do you not like them because they're not bright colors? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you gone pumpkin picking? No, but I'm going to Sunday. You're going on Sunday? Who are you going with? My mom's friend. Other aunt? Brendan's one? Yeah. Your mom's sister? Yeah. My mom doesn't have a sister. Your mom's brother? Mm -hmm. No. His wife? No. He does, my uncle doesn't have a wife. Oh. Mm, my mom's friend? Oh, your mom's friend. So your mom's apple, apple picking or pumpkin picking? Pumpkin. 
be a big pumpkin snow. Yeah. Big ball. Mm -hmm. This is Emily's first time doing it. Mm -hmm. I am. You gonna show her what to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's doing I think because it's trying to find Wi Fi. So it keeps doing that. Why? Because we don't have Wi Fi. I didn't connect to it. Came out real good. Ooh, oh, I almost made some of the girl mommy's table. She will not be happy. When's your picture day, or did you already have picture day? I already had picture. You think you look good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh. You have to go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. You want to go? Can you say who's going to come help you? No. no. And you want to come help? Do you want to paint? Come here. Can I pick you up? Can she paint this one? Yeah. But it has to be in the lines. It has to be in the lines. Uh. <gasps> what? what is it? It's spooky. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll paint them separate and we'll glue them back together. <laughs> spooky. Let's do spooky. Spook. She's not gonna We're care. gonna put them up here. Okay, do you wanna paint? Uh, here you go. Emily, what's your name? What's your name? What color do you want? What color do you want? Pink? Here. Well, tonight we're going to go to the book fair. Ooh. Ooh. What time's the book fair? It ends at 8. Well, that's kind of going to the book fair then. What time is it? 6.40. Oh, it's just later than that. Oh, it's shower time tonight. Good job. What other colors are there? You want orange? You want orange? Oh, I just love the red and pink. There you go. Cool. I actually want to do that. Ooh, oops. That's okay. I'll throw it out after. You want to rip it? What other colors? What color is that, Emily? Cool. No. Green. She said purple. <gasps> you could say purple. What color is this? Yellow. Yellow. Good job. Are you teaching her her colors? No. At school. They teach her at school. I don't know. This one's bubble. Oh, she should have put it back in the book. Good job, Emma. She should have put it in the in the water. Yeah. Emily. So she's not mixing colors. Yeah. There we go. We're gonna clean your brush, Emily. Good job. Ooh, I want letter E. What's after E? 
Spell egg. treat. And then? Egg. And then? What's egg. after that? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Smell like me. You guys still say that? My dad does. What is it? Do you remember it? Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Smell my feet. Gave me something good to eat. Mm. Are you going to say that when you go trick-or-treating? No. She did. Your dad did. Wow. Good job, Em. Can I help you? Where are you going? Got to push the paint down. There. You want to squeeze it? That's a good idea. We can hold it for a while. Good job. One more. What colors are they? All of them? Emily, good job. Here, you want help? There you go. You gotta squeeze. Good job. Emily, how old are you? Two. You're two. Do you know how old Mackenzie is? How old is she? No, Mackenzie's not two. Who thinks I'm two? <laughs> Emily, no, you can't do that anymore. Do you want your brush? Here you go. I'm done. You're done? Can you? Wow. You want to show everyone? Yeah. Ah, good job. Why did you put it on Facebook? I'm not putting it on Facebook. Yeah, My teacher is going to see it. Who's your teacher? Oh, okay. Oh, oops. <gasps> That's Mackenzie's. This is Emily's. Do you want the marker to fix it? Yeah. I think it's broken, though. Thank you. I think. It's paint. Can you say paint? Paint. Good job. Can you wave bye? Say bye. Go bye. Bye. Mackenzie, you say bye. So now I'm going to do my reflection on my OSCE from yesterday. I did my OSCE on Mackenzie, who was born... Um, January 7th, 2009, making her chronological age six years and nine months. So first, I'm just going to show you um, that her mom just signed the waiver saying she can be um, filmed. And so the first thing, I have just my notes, so I might be referring to the notes that I did while re-watching my OSCE. Um, the first part of the OSCE was Mackenzie doing jumping jacks. So... As you could see in the beginning, she was kind of being a little silly. Uh, I think part of it had to do with the camera. Part of it was just being a little shy. Um, I've known Mackenzie her whole life, so I didn't really anticipate that behavior. But as the video went on, she was warming up to the camera. But at first, um, so when she was doing her jumping jacks, as you could see the first one, she like was being very silly during it. I don't think... Um, she was incapable of doing jumping jacks. I think it was just the first activity. So then I wanted to just give her like a visual cue and an example. So I gave her an example of what a jumping jack would be. And then she was able to do the five jumping jacks, which is part of the bot. Um, and she completed them. I realized that I should have tilted the camera down a little bit more so you could see her feet. Um, but she was able to complete them. So... The next part of the bot that she did was drawing um, the paths, so for her fine motor precision. So, as you could see, she did it pretty well, very well. She didn't go outside the lines at all. Um, just, I honestly realized I didn't have a red pen, so moving forward, I'll make sure that I'm prepared in that aspect. Um, but when scoring it, she actually got a perfect score on... Um, this, so she had zero errors, which gave her, um, on the point score, she got a seven, which is the best you could do on that. Um, and you can see in the video when she's doing the first, um, 
one, which is the crooked lines, she said that this was really easy, but then on the second one, which was the curved lines, and it was a lot narrower of a path, she acknowledged that the lines were smaller and it was a lot harder. So the next um, part we did was with fine motor precision was connecting the dots. Um, so she had um, eight points. So the first line she got three, the next was zero, then two, and then three. Um, as you could see for line two, she had the most trouble with that. Um, so she had eight points. Her raw score was eight, so that gave her the point score of a four. Um, so that second line she got a zero, but the rest um, of the lines were pretty accurate when using the transparency um, piece over it. Just personal for the next time that I do an assessment like this, I didn't take notes during the assessment, which is something I definitely should have done because she did lift her pen off the page, which is something you're not supposed to do. And even with the verbal cues that I gave her, she still um, she still was lifting the pen off, but I didn't know how many times and I was unable to see in the video, um, which affected my scoring. So I don't really think it was that accurate because I don't even think that she would get full credit for this score because she did lift the pen up so many times. Um, so then the next piece that she did was, um, folding the paper. So I gave her the first example. I mean, it's, it's hard to see the, where it is, but, um, so she received a raw score of five, giving her a point score of three. Um, she really didn't fold too well on the lines. It was either on the outside of the line, the inside or straight through. The best one that she did was the fourth line through the middle. Um, but she did need the verbal cue because she was going to fold the paper this way. But she was supposed to fold it on the line. But once she had that verbal cue, she was able um, to complete it. I think during the bot, I tried to stay on the script, but I think I might have deviated a little bit from it. Um, but now next moving to the VMI. So I think she did very well with the VMI. Um, everything that she did on it was age appropriate for where she should be. I'll show you guys. So this is the first page. She got the full point for each. Um, the next page is this. Again, she got full points on this as well. Then this, again, she got full points. And it wasn't until the last, nope, this one again, she got full points. She did very well. And then this last one for um, task 20 and 21, she didn't receive points. As you can see, her spacing is off here, um, as well as these two aren't touching. So she didn't receive the credit for that um, when scoring it. So those were the only two that she didn't get points for. So her raw score was a 19 out of 21. Um, and when I compared the um, scoring sheets with her chronological age, which was 6.9, her standard score was 103, making her scale scored an 11. And she was in the 58th percentile. Um, and, I mean, she scored where ex exactly she should be because the two tasks that she didn't get um, full credit on were tasks that a seven-year-old should be doing. So she's a little bit under that. Um, so then I just think overall Mackenzie did very well with the bot and the VMI. Um, oh, sorry. Just mental function wise, she was seemed appropriate when completing the task. She was able to maintain attention. Um, I so, thought I saw higher level cognition just during the VMI because I said the first instruction and then she was able to just kind of do it on her own without prompting. Um, she was very oriented to the task at hand. She didn't really move forward. 
um, motor skills wise, she was able to stabilize the paper with one hand um, and held the pencil with her dominant hand. She was able to position the paper when she knew she had to draw or, um, but although I don't know if you can fully clearly see it in the video, her grip, she did not have the mature um, tripod grip, which she should be having at this age. Um, I don't know exactly what you would even call the grip she had. I looked on her sheet, but it didn't really look like any of those. Um, but she was able to use like manip like her in-hand manipulation and coordination to complete the task um, of the fine motor activities and writing. So when doing just both assessments, I just thought Mackenzie's process skills were evident. You were able to see her attending to the task as well as um, she was even starting to like initiate the task on her own because she was able to see just what came next. Um, but she still listened to directions and verbal cues when given. So overall with um, both assessments, Mackenzie did very well. I think milestone-wise they were age appropriate and she was able to complete them well. So next Mackenzie and I had a catch for probably a minute or so. Um, during this activity, I think just I didn't use the right size ball because she was dropping it a lot. I think I could have used a bigger ball. This one was probably about this big. Um, so I think also I would start with us being closer together. And each time she made a catch, maybe take steps apart. Um, again, like the environment was limited. We were in her living room. But moving forward, I would definitely try and implement that. Um proprioception wise Mackenzie had full body awareness of where she was in space um vestibular wise I think her balance was like a little bit off when um it had to do with like eye, hand eye coordination activities that's why she dropped it a little bit and I don't really think you could see because she went past the camera when the ball rolled but she like lost balance a little bit and like fell down kind of trying to get the ball like um but other than that she was gauged engaged in the activity then after that was the activity that I chose to do which was painting a pumpkin I chose this because I know she likes arts and crafts it's a fall activity and I figured that with a big pumpkin there was a lot she could do with it um, so based on the activity analysis that I kind of conducted um, grading up the activity I could have drawn um, designs on the pumpkin or drawn different faces and had her trace it either with the glitter pens or um, the paintbrush um, that would require a lot of precision and accuracy so I could have done that as well as we also could have carved the pumpkin which again might be a safety problem but just with adult supervision um, I think she could have done it with help that would have made um, the activity a lot harder um, by grading it down. I could have had her use stickers on the pumpkin. I could have had her use stencils, um, sponges. This would require um, less fine motor skills because it would be also a bigger grasp. Um, I, c I could also have her have a smaller pumpkin because as you saw in the video, um, it was too big for her to really manipulate and move. I had to do that while she painted. Um, and then towards the end of the video, you actually saw her um, younger sister come in. who She's two years old. So when she came in, it was actually really good because then we were able to see her um, social interaction with someone who was more her age. Um, she did engage with her sister. Again, they lived together and it wasn't a stranger, but she engaged with her just asking her about different colors. Do you want to paint this? Um, she let her paint her pumpkin a little bit. She didn't seem too happy about it, but she did. So I thought that was a nice thing to see. Um, I think just moving forward, another thing that I learned was that just when performing an assessment, the physical environment plays a role into the success of the client. I think ideally next time I would have it just be in a lot quieter of a space without people walking in and out. Um, I think it just was a distraction as well as in the beginning when we were doing the assessment when she wasn't being very compliant her mom came in and kind of like gave her the eye and she was like mom like go um so I think just moving forward and in I know 
based on um, just in the context being in a school or in an outpatient kind of facility. Um, assessments are usually done in like quiet spaces. Overall, I definitely learned from this um, assignment because we've only really done assessments on each other, so it was good to do it on a child of the age that we're supposed to be doing it on. It gave me practice um, on reading the script and also doing it. It made me realize that I really should be taking notes when doing the assessment and be more prepared. Although I had all my papers and the things that I needed, I didn't have the pen, um, the red pen. I didn't have the appropriate size ball. Um, so those are things that I would definitely change in the future and just make sure that I have everything. Um, all right. Thank you.